Mississippi on her knees Never been so lost Never felt so much at home Your tweets <laughs> have earned 2,816 impressions over the last 24 hours. My goodness. story <clears throat> to say that I didn't love her would be massively incorrect I loved her more than any other person could fathom. It's just, she slowly started treating me just like the others. That's why she had to die. Before you judge and hate me for that, allow me to explain myself. Please. Heather and I met on April 2nd, 2013. It was a cold day, negative 42 degrees. Snow was still on the ground and 11 schools in the city had closed that day. I was outside smoking a Marble 27, watching the world operate. A grumpy older man was shoveling A grumpy older man was shoveling his driveway so his wife's Prius could make it up the apron. He hated her. They screamed at each other almost every night except for weekends, when he would go to Woody's Tavern and fuck the house hooker. <laughs> it caught up to him at 7.51 a.m. when he collapsed at the base of his driveway. No clutching, no visible pain. I heard Heather running across the street from her porch less than eight seconds after. She yelled for someone to call 911. No one else was outside. Ooh, it's too far away. It took the EMS exactly one minute to arrive. During the 60 seconds leading up to that, I had to run to be bo Nope, that's not right. During the 60 seconds leading up to that, I had run to be by Heather's side and assist in the situation. She didn't understand how the human body works like I do. He was still breathing, albeit shallow. He had a low pulse also. <laughs> I was like, why am I even saying... Alright, it's fine. He had a... <clears throat> 
had a low pulse also. After the 12 minutes and 2 seconds the paramedics took to secure the grumpy man and leave with him, I hung back to comfort Heather. She was clearly overwhelmed by the situation. As it turned out, she never saw a man go down like that before. I'm not even sure if that's innuendo or not. <laughs> but it should be. The rest is history. We became engaged one year and eight days after that incident. I proposed in front of her fireplace while we played Scrabble. I didn't win, but I did. Our plan was to move in together after officially tying the knot as to keep a modicum of tradition alive. Well, that was her plan at least. I disagreed, but since we lived only 977 feet away from each other, I was able to make do with the arrangement. I must admit, it did heighten my paranoia. Heather was so perfect and trustworthy that I didn't act on it like I had in the past. Besides, I was able to see into her living room from my attic as long as she didn't close the blinds. Which she never did. Honestly, the only thing that really irked me about her was her unwillingness to do anything with me on the weekends. She was always busy with work. Alternating schedules, you see. I worked 40 hours, Monday through Friday, as a consultant at a tech firm. She typically worked retail hours randomly throughout the week, and then late shifts on the weekends at Denny's. I don't like not seeing someone I care about. When she told me she was pregnant, though, my prayers were answered. Over the course of eight months, two weeks, and four days, Heather slowly began working less and less, aside from her weekend job. She actually picked up a few more hours at Denny's, but... She actually picked up a few more hours at Denny's, but... <laughs> She actually picked up a few more hours at Denny's, but I was fine with it since she was always home during the week. Balance. I wasn't home when she went into labor at 3.16 p.m. on March 8th. The wife to the grumpy old man saw Heather writhing in contraction pain on her porch. Oops. The wife to the grumpy old man saw Heather writhing in contraction pain on her porch and rushed to her aid. They made their way to the hospital as I hurried home to grab the baby bag we had prepared. The grumpy old man stopped me as I was leaving. Get a test done! He yelled as he waddled across the street. You'll regret it if you don't! I stopped. Out of anger, mostly, but also curiosity. It's not every day someone tells you to take a paternity test as your child is being born. <laughs> Woody's, he panted. Every weekend, she's popular. He didn't need to explain any further. I stared at him silently. I've been there. Anyone at the bar can prove it. That was enough for me. There had been four rumors before, but nothing substantial. I saved the man's life before, and I didn't see a reason for him to lie to me. I got in my car, but before I pulled out, he knocked on my window. Sorry, my wife, she isn't the best. He apologized as he motioned to his house. I'll deal with it. I sped off to the hospital. <laughs> Heather... <coughs> what the fuck? 
is this? Heather didn't immediately go into labor. Her cervix wasn't dilated enough. They had her staged in the room ready for the moment, however. She was too doped up to notice I was next to her. The problem with hospitals is that things often go wrong. Palms malfunction and can disperse too many milligrams of a certain medication. Plugs can be trap trapped. <clears throat> Plugs can be tripped on in a panic, causing machines with alarms to. Plugs can be tripped on in a panic, causing machines with alarms to cease making noise. When things like that happen, people fall into a bad place that's hard to recover from. When things like that happen to a pregnant woman, doctors might have to perform an emergency C-section to save the baby's life before the mother dies. Usually only one can be saved. Usually the child. <clears throat> 6 31 p.m he was harvested from heather's lifeless husk Did my brother just sneeze didn't he really just sneeze <laughs> 6 31 p.m he was harvested from heather's lifeless husk seven pounds seven ounces 21 inches long I took comfort that he was dark-skinned since we lived in a city that was 88% white and lived in an all-white development. I decided on the name Noah. Heather always loved that name. I was investigated and found guilty of some bullshit negligence charge causing my wife to perish. My lawyer was damn good, though. That sounded weird. My lawyer was damn good, though. I served no time due to my clean record. 180 days of probation were all I had to serve. I was okay with that. Now that that's all settled, I need to find you. You're next. <laughs> it's a no sleep story. Oh my god. I just don't get it. <laughs> Did you not, you didn't like the ending? I killed my wife. It's all good. Do it all the time. Well, aren't you too special? Mm -hmm. To say that I didn't love her would be massively incorrect. To say that I didn't love her would be massively incorrect. To say 
To say that I didn't love her would be massively incorrect. I loved her more than any other person could fathom. It's just... Making friends, good times. To say that I didn't love her would be massively incorrect. I loved her more than any other person could fathom. It's just, she slowly started treating me just like the others. That's why she had to die. Before you judge and hate me for that, allow me to explain myself. <coughs> okay. Please. 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 So, hey, how are y'all doing? How's, how's the, the stuff? <laughs> how's, uh, how's life? What's up? What's up, phone? Creative Reason Media. Do 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 What the hell is this even called? I forgot the name of the story. Oh, it's called You're Next, of course. Let's save it under The Record Keeper. Oh, it. And next. And then I'm going to take out the Spitfish DSer. See if we can't get these, some of these S's out. Please. And Audacity crashed. It's good because I just saved it. Hmm. <sighs> Wait, does that mean OBS crashed? No? Hello, 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 nice. Looks like it's working. Please. Please.
Oh, yep, I totally burped it. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. All right, spit fish DS or take off. Listen, hit apply. Good, good. Three, two, one, zero. Bink. All right. Well, let's start back from the beginning. Let's go. To say that I didn't love her would be massively incorrect. I loved her more than any other person could fathom. It's just, she slowly started treating me just like the others. That's why she had to die. Before you judge and hate me for that, allow me to explain myself. Please. Yeah. Mouth noises. Heather and I met. Please. Heather and I met on April 2nd, 2013. It was a cold day. Negative 40. Ew. Heather and I met on April 2nd, 2013. It was a cold day. Negative 42 degrees. Snow was still on the ground and 11 schools in the city had closed that day. schools in the city had closed that day. I was outside smoking a Marble 27, watching the world operate. A grumpy older man was shoveling t bleh? A grumpy- bleh? A grumpy older man was shoveling his driveway so his wife's Prius could make it up the apron. He hated her. They screamed at each other almost every night except he hated her. I don't know what the stupid compression thing does. He hated her. Oh boy. He hated her. He hated her. Yeah, whatever. They screamed at each other almost every night except for weekends, when he would go to Woody's Tavern and fuck the house hooker. <laughs> it caught up to him at 7.51 a.m. when he collapsed at the base of his driveway. Hmm. Let's see. right now so just gonna leave that there and uh, move on it caught up to him at 7:51 a.m. when he collapsed at the base of his driveway no clutching no visible pain I heard Heather I heard Heather running across the street from her porch less than eight seconds after. She yelled for someone to call 911. 
No one else was outside. Ooh, it's too far away. It took the EMS exactly one. <laughs> outside it took the e it took the EMS exactly one minute to arrive during the 60 seconds leading up to that I had to run to be bo nope that's not right During the 60 seconds leading up to that, I had run to be by Heather's side and assist in the situation. She didn't understand how the human body works like I do. He was still breathing, albeit shallow. He had a low pulse also. He had a low pulse also. After the 12 minutes and 2 seconds the paramedics took to secure the grumpy man and leave with him, I hung back to comfort Heather. Clickle, clickle. Well, let's see. All right, back to normal size. Is that normal? Yeah, it should be fine. There. She was clearly overwhelmed by the situation. As it turned out, she never saw a man go down like that before. Even sure if that's in you. Get your head out of the gooter. Get your head out of the gunther. The rest is history. We became engaged one year and eight days after that incident. I proposed in front of her fireplace while we played Scrabble. I didn't win, but I did. Our plan was to move in together after officially tying the knot as to keep a modicum of tradition alive. Well, that was her plan at least. I disagreed, but since we lived only 977 feet away from each other, I was able to make do with the arrangement. I must admit, it did heighten my paranoia. Heather was so perfect and trustworthy that I didn't act on it like I had in the past. Besides, I was able to see into her living room from my attic as long as she didn't close the blinds, which she never did. Creeper. Honestly.
entire story is just 100% innuendo. Honestly, the only thing that really irked me about her was her unwillingness to do anything with me on the weekends. She was always busy with work. Alternating schedules, you see. I worked 40 hours, Monday through Friday, as a consultant at a tech firm. She typically worked retail hours randomly throughout the week, and then late shifts on the weekends at Denny's. I don't like... I said I figured he did. Like he just popped a coronary or something. And then, late shifts way too long. throughout the week. And then, late shifts on the weekends at Denny's. I don't like not seeing someone I care about. Someone I care about. When she told <laughs> about when she when she told me she was pregnant, though my prayers were answered. Over the course of eight months, two weeks, and four days, Heather slowly began working less and less. Aside from her weekend job. She actually picked up a few more hours at Denny's before... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Screwed it up, screwed it up, screwed it up. And then I got it. Right? I wasn't home when she went into... No, that's not right. You are wrong. I got on that one. Here. That sounds right. She actually picked up a few more hours. Aside from her weekend job. She actually picked up a few more hours at Denny's, but I was fine with it since she was always home during the week. Balance. Yeah, creepy. Give me that creep, creep. Give me that creep shit. I wasn't home when she went into late. That break is too much. I wasn't home when she went into labor at three. Give it another. Second, but not that long. I wasn't home when she went into labor at 3.16 p.m. on March 8th. The wife to the grumpy old man saw Heather writhing in contraction pain on her porch. The wife to... The wife to... The wife to the grumpy old man saw Heather writhing in contraction pain on her porch and rushed to her aid. They made their way to the hospital as I hurried home to grab the baby bag we had prepared. The grumpy old man stopped me as The grumpy old man stopped me as I was leaving. Get a test done. He yelled as he waddled across the street. You'll regret it if you don't. I stopped, out of anger mostly, but also curiosity. It's not every day someone tells you to take a paternity test as your child is being born. 
ain't that the truth. <laughs> Woody's, he panted. Every weekend, she's popular. He didn't need to explain any further. I stared at him silently. I've been there. Anyone at the bar can prove it. That was enough for me. There had been four rumors before, but nothing substantial. I saved the man's life before, and I didn't see a reason for him to lie to me. I got in my car, but before I pulled out, he knocked on my window. Before I pulled out, you get it? Sorry, my wife, she isn't the best. He apologized as he motioned to his house. First of all, second of all, I'll deal with it. I sped off to the hospital. Why was that so loud? I'll deal with it. You are insane. I'll deal with it. He apologized as he motioned to his house. This whole exchange is ridiculous. Wife, she isn't the best. Yeah. I sped off to the hospital. <laughs> oh, man. And the sniffles come back. Heather didn't immediately go into labor. Heather didn't immediately go into labor. Her cervix wasn't dilated enough. They had her staged in the room ready for the moment, however. She was too doped up to notice I was next to her. The problem with hospitals is that things often go wrong. Palms malfunction and can disperse too many milligrams of a certain medication. Plugs can be trap trapped. <clears throat> trapped. Plugs can be tripped on in a panic, causing machines with alarms to. <coughs> <coughs> Plugs can be tripped on in a panic, causing machines with alarms to cease making noise. When things like that happen, people fall into a bad place that's hard to recover from. When things like that happen to a pregnant woman, doctors might have to perform an emergency C-section to save the baby's life before the mother dies. Usually only one can be saved. Usually the child. Six thirty one PM he was harvested from Heather's lifeless husk. My brother just sneeze. Did he? Oh no, I can see if I can hear it. I don't think so though. It's very hard. From Heather's lifeless husk. I can't even hear it. Child. Six thirty one PM. He was harvested from Heather's lifeless husk. Seven pounds, seven ounces, 21 inches long. I took comfort that he was dark-skinned since we lived in a city that was 88% white and lived in an all-white development. I decided on the name Noah.
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh man, you guys are talking. Evaluated my natural voice frequency. if you guys are listening to me or not I'm not doing anything fun anyway <laughs> I'm just <laughs> editing uh, I was reading <laughs> and I was just saying uh-huh, after every line I read I decided on the name Noah Heather always loved that name I was investigated and found guilty of some bullshit negligence charge causing my wife to perish. Well, okay. this line too. My lawyer was damn good, though. Damn good. My lawyer was damn good, though. I served no time due to my clean record. 180 days of probation were all I had to serve. I was okay with that. Now that that's all settled, I need to find you. You're next. I mean, our day is... No, I do. Differently already. Did it pretty already. Did it pretty already. Did it pretty already. Did it pretty already. I want my blue eyes. I want my blue eyes. What do you want? Uh, what? What do you, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> you guys want to make a video? Trying to save this video. <laughs> oh my. Then I could switch this to this. That didn't work at all.
There it goes. Yay. What do you got? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing over here? Let me chill out over my head. Cubicle monkey. That sounds like you need marshmallows. Now, I gotta export this one. Save it, I guess. Export audio. Stupid, sexy smithers. Yeah, what, what do I even do here? Sometimes the inspiration for me doing narrations talks to me on Twitter. <laughs> That's never really talks to me. Sometimes he replies to me. deep this one time I made a video called waffles and I just said the word waffles and uh, it's pretty popular because <laughs> people really wanted waffles oh. Waffles are great. You're not wrong. If I could just, man, have I been streaming for 50 minutes? Goodness gracious. I'm not gonna make a video right now. That's crazy. Why aren't you working? Entire window. Okay. There we go. And a window. Okay. Um. 
note? I don't know what that means. All right, whatever. I can't figure this out. <laughs> Ever the professional. I'm going to leave. Later, y'all. Eat Frosties. <laughs>